it's me Sherry. So for today's video I'm going to do a first impressions on two different products that I got for Christmas and I'm going to do a demo with each. So I'm going to cut in with music to do the demo. Um, you guys will see me doing it. I first started off with putting on some foundation. I do have this foundation on it. I don't really like this foundation. I'm going to give you guys a heads up on that but I use it for filming just so I can use it up. Like I love the finish of it but it doesn't last well on my skin. And for this I have used this so it's not really a first impression. I have used it once before. Um, and I wanted to try a white base with it so I'm using this base from City Colors called White Gold so that's on my lids already so if you want to see a kind of a little demo like a tutorial with this then stay tuned for the video and I'll come back and do swatches and give you my impressions as well as this product as well this is the uh, Too Faced Meltish matte in limited edition in candy cane and this is the white chocolate chip palette you're gonna have to excuse the vacuum in the background this one's a new vacuum that Hubert got for Christmas it's a bit lower but I there's nothing I can do about it because we just took down the tree and he wants to clean all that up so if you want to see me play with these products then stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys after the video As you can see it does kick up quite a bit of fallout now with the white base my first impression of this when I first used it I was like oh the colors are really sheer and Kristen got it too because I stayed up the whole night to get the two of these for us for Christmas and you can see like the mirror is covered with eyeshadow and like it I don't think it will take me long to finish up this palette because the uh, colors are small but I'll get into the review in a minute um, but with the white base underneath it and that highlight color oh, see that that is like, it is a bit chunky, but I can work with that. Yeah, this is pretty. I like this. I am, um, with the white base, I'm going to suggest Kristen use a white base too, because she was kind of iffy about her. She said the, sh the shimmery colors are a little sheer. So I'm just going to go finish the rest of my face makeup, and we'll come back and we'll do a first impression on this one as well, and then I will discuss everything with you guys. Okay guys, so I finished off my makeup, so let's go for this. Don't let my hair, it's a mess right now. And I'm in my nightdress, but that's okay. So we're going to go for the Melt It Matte Lipstick. I kept the box, the like original packaging for these things, just for the purpose of this video. And now that I'm doing this video, I'll probably put them all away. This is so cute. Look at it. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. And this smells like peppermint mochas. So I'm going to swatch it right now and then I'll do lips or I'll do swatches of the eyeshadow in a minute so that's what that looks like oh it smells like peppermint mocha I love it all right let's see if I can get this on without being sloppy tiny lips so it doesn't help
And I just used the Too Faced lip injection on my lips, but my lips are still tiny, so. Not too bad of an application. All right, let's just let that dry for a minute. This color is gorgeous. There's what it looks like dry on my hand. It's pretty much dry there, so that's really pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back and do, I'll have swatches for everything and we'll discuss everything. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is the Too Faced Candy Cane Limited Edition Melt It Matte Lipstick. Um, the applique, the, okay, first of all, I love the color. Sorry about the vacuum cleaner, by the way. I can't do anything about that. So I love the color. Um, the application was easy. The applicator picks up enough product and it's easy. The packaging, of course, is cute and adorable because Too Faced always has really good packages. I can't attest for how long it actually lasts on your lips, but it feels comfortable. It's not drying like a lot of liquid lipsticks. However, I do believe, according to my sister Shantae, it does transfer. So this has been drying for about 10 minutes. Let's just see. Well, I didn't have any transfer there. I had a little bit there. Okay, so that's that's fine because the color still stays behind. Actually, my friend Krista wore this on New Year's Eve here. She actually wore mine and she ate through it and drank through it and it was still on her lips. So I think it does last for a pretty long time. Maybe if Shantae's watching this video, she could let you guys know down in the uh, down bar how long it lasts for. So first impression of this, I love it. Thank you Crystal for getting me this for Crystal for Crystal for Christmas. I absolutely love it. I saved the packaging for this video so I'm going to take the package and put it away and put that melted lippy away now. So the next first impression I have is for the white chocolate chip palette. This is the outer packaging. It just looks like this. Has the ingredients on it. Stayed up all night waiting for these for me and Kristen. Here is the actual packaging and just for a reference I'm going to show you the chocolate bonbons palette in comparison so this is the size so it is quite smaller but this was $32 Canadian and I believe it was 26 US so um yeah so the colors on this I will show you guys okay so first before I talk about the color and show you guys swatches which are already on my hands okay so it smells like chocolate like chocolate like um all of the Too Faced chocolate pilots. Although for some reason this seems to smell stronger of chocolate. Maybe it's because it's white chocolate. I don't, I, I have no idea. Um, as you've seen from me doing the little look with it, it does kick up a lot of fallout and the packaging is white. So this is inevitably going to get, inevitably going to get very dirty. So if you don't like that with palettes, then I suggest you stay away from this. Um, this I would say is meant for very fair to medium skin tones. I did find that the color payoff worked better with a white base. So if you want more color payoff, then definitely use a white base with this. So I'm going to tell you the colors, um, starting from top, going this way, and then this way, and then this way. So you have Glaze, you have Ambrosia, you have Exotica, so Glaze, Ambrosia, Exotica. Next. Pearl Candy, Raspberry Rose, Indulge, which is what I'm wearing all over my lids today. Let it focus here. There we go. The lighting goes off when I show something that's white. And then down the bottom, oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, okay, so we're going this way. So we have Cake Batter, Cookie Dough, which is, Cookie Dough is, which is what's in my crease today. And this white one, which was the Pearl Candy, that's in my inner corner today. And the Glaze is on my highlight today. Okay, so, sorry guys. Cake Batter, Cookie Dough, Sugared Raisin, and Black Sugar is the bottom colors. So I'm going to show you guys swatches with and without primer. This is with primer. I have my MAC paint pot under there, and I, the paint that those swatches look okay. as you can see it's very very light even on my skin tone and here are the swatches without primer if it will focus good for you guys I have them in an awkward situation so you can barely see the first three colors up there and then like they're up here I'll try to take pictures of the swatches as well so as you can see they are fairly light right so I should have put them under a white base too. 
But don't always judge a book by its cover either because, I mean, if you have fairly fair skin, these will work really well on you. My skin is like, I always thought that I was really fair, but I'm not that fair. Um, so, yeah, this palette probably wasn't the best purchase. I'll probably give it like a 3 out of 5 for this palette. But I'm still going to use it up. I still like it. I still enjoy it. But it's not my favorite Too, ha too Faced palette. And this, I'm going to give a 5 out of 5. Um, even if it doesn't last that long on the lips because the color and the smell alone <laughs> and the application make it worth it for me. So that is kind of my first impression on those two um, Too Faced products. I'm actually going to be doing the Mariah Carey um, quad that I got as well at some point. I'm I'm just waiting. I ordered a lipstick, so I want to wait till the lipstick comes in and do it all together. And I'm also going to do my first impressions of the peach palette. So I know the peach palette was out there for a while, and you guys have probably all seen it by now, but I'd like to do a look and do like a first impressions with that palette as well, because I just think it'd be fun, and I like to do my first impressions of stuff, like what I feel about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of just off the cuff, random thing, but I like to kind of talk about my new products so I wanted to talk about these and I, like I said I saved the packaging until until I do this reviews do these reviews first impression so I can talk about the product this is limited edition but it's still available on the Sephora site right now this is also was limited edition but this is going to be a spring release so if you're interested in this this will be out in the I don't know the date exactly if you follow trend mood on Instagram she'll probably have information when it's about to be released but this is going to be a spring release so if you're interested in that and if you want this, I'd suggest you get your hands on it because it's still available on the Sephora website right now. And once it's gone, obviously, it's probably gone, right? They're not going to restock it because it's a Christmas item. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye, everyone.